Oh man. Did you grab one when you went back to the car? Yeah. We're, uh, we're about to uh, get on the Palm Springs tramway up to the top of the mountain. So here's some more miscalculation I did. I looked this up and I thought it'd be cool to do. I didn't factor in the fact that it's way colder on top of the mountain than down here. So it's probably somewhere in the 50s right now. On top of the mountain it's 20 degrees. So we're going to do it though. We're going to do it. One and done. This is our one day in Palm Springs. I don't know if we'll ever get a chance to do this again. So, uh, Also, I'm afraid of heights. So this should be interesting. All right. Oh, Lordy. Here we go. Ah, there it is. Okay. This thing moves fast, man. I mean, it's big part. We'll travel over two and one and a half miles of cable, right? Well, the measure vertically. At the top, the temperature averages some 40 degrees cooler. The wild one will have changed, and the trees, flowers, and shrubs will be different. We'll travel over five towers on our journey. The tallest is it's the only All other towers and the mountain station had to be constructed and the materials I'm doing better than I thought I would. But yeah, it's uh with a new rotating something else. improvements included new cables, dry yards and rock. We're so high up. We'll see survey marks along the rock face during the trip that indicates where rock removal was required. This is pretty the new wild. cabins are this, the first this, in Western this, uh, platform that to I'm rotate 360 on. degrees during their travel and are the largest of their type of world. No, that's big We're now rotating. Right. Our south travel car is the one of the many that I run off the mountain. During our upward journey, we pass through a variety of different lines, ranging from the desert to the Alpine Trail. It's a little like making a road trip from Mexico to the the only place in California where this change occurred. As we approach down to the top of the tower, you can see a 16 by 16 foot yellow helicopter platform used during construction and now used during the trams maintenance period. Additional forms will be seen on the remaining towers further along the departure. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is crazy. So while the wind is really bad, I thought I'd fill in some information on where we are. So I thought this was a tourist trap where you ride up, you eat dinner, and you come back down, see some cool views. No, there's a there's a state park at the top of this mountain. It's Mount San Jacinto State Park, which is the second highest peak in all of Southern California. It is part of the Pacific Crest Trail, which spans all the way from Mexico to Canada. You can do all kinds of things here, including hiking, uh, camping, skiing. So if we had known that, of course, and in, 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 it's a little bit nicer weather, we take advantage of that. But uh, there's all kinds of stuff to do up here if you come and you're prepared for the weather. Heather and I have always prided ourselves on being prepared, <laughs> over-prepared for every vacation we go on. We, we bring ponchos, we think about every type scenario until this trip. We are freezing <laughs> on top of this mountain. And it's 20 degrees. I just, I just did not factor in the fact 
that it is literally 40 degrees colder on top of this mountain in Palm Springs as it is below. So much warmer inside. But I'm telling you though, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That is a lot of snow. That's the most snow I've ever seen in person in my entire life. We don't get a whole lot of snow in the south. But when we do, it's like two to three inches. That looks like a foot of snow down there. Oh, at least. And it's on top of that, it looks like a blizzard. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I mean, it, it is a windy like snowstorm. You can see over here, that is the sign for the Mount San Jacinto state park i didn't even know there was a state park up here i thought this was just a tramway to just kind of come and look at the view but there are miles and miles of hiking trails here that heather and i are not prepared to go on today <laughs> because we didn't know about this <laughs> we are uh, at the top of the uh, tramway here Palm Springs is completely covered in snow. We're gonna get some lunch here at Peaks Restaurant. And you can see behind me, snow right outside the window. Okay, so while there's such bad audio uh, due to the blizzard you're seeing in front of you right now, I thought I'd add in some basic facts about the Palm Springs Tramway. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds different because I'm very sick right now. But anyways, uh, this is the world's largest rotating tram car. And uh, this uh, tram opened in 1963. However, the rotating tram cars were not added until the year 2000. So up until 2000, it was just a regular tram car that went up and down. The uh, trip is about two and a half miles. It's about 10 minutes. And the elevation that you reach when you reach the top is 8,516 feet. The floor will be rotating. So those of you hanging out by the windows, just know that the floor rotates and the handlebars attached to the windows, they do not rotate. So please make sure you move those arms along as we go around in circles. Here we go with the floor. Oh, wow. This is amazing. <laughs> That's just where we were. It's like Hogwarts up there. You know, it's like the... This is like a rubber band. Oh, that's amazing. I mean... Oh, my goodness. This is truly amazing. Oh, my goodness. Ah, we are so high up. We are so high up. We are so high up right now. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, but a lot scared. That, that was awesome. Awesome. So we've gone on several adventures here in our California trip, including Disneyland, Universal, we went to some beaches, we went to the Culver Hotel. However, that might be my favorite thing so far. What do you think? Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. We were up so high. I don't know if we were up so high. So high. Oh my goodness. It, it really looked like we were in a movie for a second there. Just so You can't even see where we were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. We were past all the focus. Let me see if it focuses. So, yeah, okay, so it's focusing now. So, we were. You can't see the top of the mountain. You can see where it goes. It like disappears into the fog. We were like way high. Yeah, we were way up there. You can't see it. It was completely enveloped in clouds. Enveloped. Absolutely. Enveloped. 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 <laughs> it was awesome. Awesome. Man, that was... You can see 
off in the distance there, the tower. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of geeking out here because that was just a lot of fun. That that was that was something that we just kind of did. I had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to do the tram tour, but I just had no idea how much fun it was going to be. It was kind of expensive at $30 a person, but I would say honestly well worth it. And if you go during the uh, the summer or the spring where you can actually get out and hike a little bit when there's not snow all over the place, um, yeah, you could spend all day up there just hanging out. Uh, I, I, was, I did not realize until getting up there that there's a state park, San Jacinto State Park. Sorry if I'm butchering that uh, pronunciation. So there is a state park at the top of it there, as well as um, a couple restaurants, a couple gift shops, just a couple just very beautiful areas to uh, stop and look. So, awesome. Look at the mountains in the back there.